Hey guys, um, this is our first day of cursive, and so I wanted to give you a couple of um, pointers when you're starting out. I know some of you may have done some cursive in second grade or earlier, um, but just as a refresher, uh, the biggest thing is that you want to follow the little arrows on your paper and that you don't want to pick your pencil up when you're moving from one letter to the next. Um, as far as your name right now, if you know how to write your name in cursive, you can. Um, otherwise, you can just print it up there for now until we um, get better with our signatures. Um, so, the first letter you're doing today is A, and so you're going to start around, up, and down. And you can trace that one letter, sorry, and then try it. Around the front and down. So, start up top, around, up, and out. And you're just going to try that a few times across the top of your paper. So, trace it and write it yourself. Same thing on this line. On this line, you're tracing it once, oops, tracing it once, and then you're just going to fill that line with cursive A's all the way across. Um, as we move down, these are going to be um, words that start with an A and go into some other letters. So we haven't learned a lot of other letters, but um, basically, again, we don't want to pick our pen up, so we're going to go at A up to the T and cross. So you don't pick it up until you want to cross your T. Cross A and then you go straight up into a lowercase T and cross. A up to a T and cross. And you're going to go all the way across. Same with the next word aim. So you're going to trace A, I and the cursive M has three humps. Unlike a print M that only has two, your first one is to connect it, so it actually has three. So this is aim, like you're going to aim the um, Nerf gun at the target. So three. So A, I, and then three for the M. And you're going to do that all the way across. Next we have and, and you'll notice that the letter N has two little bumps, kind of like a lowercase m in print. But again, that's because that first one is where we're connecting it to the letter. So A, N, D. So A, N, D. All the way across. Keep going. Next is apples. Apples has a tricky letter. It's a P, so it goes up, down, and around. Up, down, and around. Apples. L, E, S. Just do the best you can down here since there are letters that we haven't learned yet. Um, but hopefully this video will help you. Do trace first. A, G, A, I, N. The word again. So A, G, A, I, N. Notice I don't pick my pen up until the very end when I go back and dot an I or cross a T. All right. The next um, letter you guys are going to do today is B. And it's kind of a curly letter. So the arrow tells you to start here, go up and around and back down. And then this is your little connection to the next letter. So we're going to go up, down, back around. And then this is where we'll connect. So up, down, and that's where we connect. Up, down, around, that's where we connect. So it still kind of looks like a print B. It's just a really fancy one. So up, down, around, and connect. And you're going to do that all the way across down here you're going to trace it and then keep on going so it's kind of still resembling a lowercase b but it's got that little connection piece because when we get down here like in the word b we have to go up around and curl, connect it to our e up around connect it to our e and you'll go all the way across and then we have belt so b e L, T, cross the T. Bat, B, A, T, cross the T. And again, you're going to write these on your own as well, all the way across the line. Then you have bubble and bumblebee. Um, so, good luck, take your time, um, try your best, and show it to me when you are done.